hopefully one of my keys here will be sharp enough to unbox this thingy so let's get started larger one. Owen's getting the other side. Thank you. Piece of tape stuck in the middle. They definitely packed this thing pretty well. So just as I suspected, that's probably the bowl. This is going to be the tank. So it's got to make it from China somehow. Here is what the cow, it just looks like a pressure light to me. Oh, weird. Look at the <laughs> inlet. And it has the new logo too. Oh yeah, look at that. That's cool. So these it looks like just the see this. Oh why am I still so zoomed in? This right here is just uh the instruction manual. And then we got the tank gasket, and then right here is the wax ring. So uh first I'm gonna go ahead and pull out the seat here. Here, can you hmm? It's okay. Um, here is the seat. Seems like it has a decent seat. This toilet has an extremely fat base. And if I remember correctly, they had said that this is to cover up the old toilet footprint. So if you pull your old toilet up, they made the base large enough to basically cover that. So here is the logo. And as y'all can see, that little hole right there is for the siphon jet channel. And this one right up here is for the rim jets. They put an auto Overall, lid in here. This bowl is very interesting, but it's pretty heavy, so. See? Oh, yeah. I mean, stop <laughs> in Spanish. <clears throat> so here's the tank lid. Um, can you wait to pull that out? Sure. So we can open this first. Alrighty. Let's see the date. Yeah, we're about to find out when it was made. 2023. Looks like December 1st. Yeah, or that says ten twenty three on it. I think it's twelve oh one or no. Why is it ten twenty three? Yeah, so it's, hmm. it's made like a thousand years ago. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully, there's a date somewhere underneath the bowl. The yeah. tank lid just kind of looks like almost a normal project source tank lid, so nothing super special there. It is very thick though, which is nice. Now here, is like a Toronto the Savoy tank this is it's kind of weird but this is literally the first time i've ever unboxed the pressure assist toilet and the handle is sticking out yeah the handle is sticking out right there yeah. this toilet is 0 0.8 gallons per flush which i'm not too fond of i really don't like anything pressure assist that uses less than a gallon even this, a gallon though is pretty bad i guess I you have enough flush mix <laughs> except i think this would be an eco flush i bet you it is yep Oh, that's cool. I've never seen one that small before. That's pretty interesting. Do you see a date anywhere in the tank? December 5th, 2023. So they misprinted the date on the lid. Yeah. So this is the box after. Obviously, it's a pretty long box. Uh, the entire toilet is here. I will be back when this whole thing is completely assembled. Let's, set, let's get this out. Yeah. Here. Would you mind lifting since I'm holding my phone? Inside the box, so cool looking. Honestly, seems pretty solid. It's definitely heavy. Oh, look at that! What manufacturing defect? Dang! Hope that doesn't cause any leaks. I wouldn't think so. I mean, it doesn't yeah. go through the inside of the tank. BTR is turning on the water. So once this thing is completely full, I'll go ahead and give it its first flush with the dry bowl. Uh, this thing is only using 0 0.8 gallons per flush, so it should fill pretty quickly. And here is the first flush of the 2023 Project Source Eco. To me, it kind of flushed a lot like a pressure light, but with much better bull rinse because those older pressure lights, they barely even trickle water. Um, if I can, I'll see if I can find a different tank to put on this with a 1.6 flush mate to see 
if it provides a much better flush, but that honestly didn't seem too bad. Surprisingly yeah. good, actually. So I'm doing this video, the rest of this video separately so that I can talk this time. Because BTR was doing his colony. last time. I did just bump a colony, didn't I? <laughs> so that previous flush looks like it covered a lot of the bowl. This looks like the water line, which is really depressing, but it seems like it actually probably has good rinse. If this thing was on 1.6 gallons, it looks like it wouldn't be bad at all, but on 0.8, it seems like it would be basically useless because I don't know how a toilet could function on 1. Point, or 0.8. I'm so used to saying one point something, but 0.8 gallons just isn't enough to flush a toilet. So yeah, this is really cool. I'm really glad I got it. And I'll definitely be doing some tests on it later. But that is all for this unboxing and flush. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe and turn on notifications. It helps my channel a lot and I really appreciate it. Thanks for watching and see you guys in the next video. I almost sat on the colony again. <laughs> yeah, it has a very warped face. Look at this. <laughs>